The overweight population has grown exponentially over the last 20 years. In fact, since 1980, the number of overweight people has more than doubled in the world. And we really feel like we can contribute to the science in this area, especially leveraging from the science that we've been involved in in the last few years, uh, specifically gene expression science and our relationship with LifeGen Technologies, the ability um, previously to measure aging at the genetic level and now to be able to screen for ingredients that may have an impact on gene expression that may be relevant in the weight management area. Well, there are so many different what you might call traditional approaches to weight management. It's really hard to put your finger on anyone in particular, but in general, it seems that uh, perhaps they're not working. The evidence is that uh, more and more people are gaining weight and having difficulty. So there are some important learnings there. And again, we've been in this uh, nutrition industry for, for a couple of decades or more now, and we have gained a lot of experience. Certainly there are some key learnings. One is that a typical person really believes it's just calories in and calories out. And the average person then will say, okay, I need to drop calories, so uh, eat less. And also the way that calories go out is by exercising, right? That's how we do it. So eat less, exercise more. What we are finding with that is that people are losing weight, but unfortunately they're losing adipose tissue or fat and also muscle, which is actually uh, critical to hold on to and not to lose. There's good reasons for that. Uh, you know, this muscle is your metabolic engine. The energy that you expend when you are not exercising actually accounts for most of the energy that is expended. And that's logical when you think about it. Most people don't exercise 24 hours a day. So uh, we need to pay attention to your metabolism while you're, while you're resting. And that means maintain lean muscle. The right approach will actually help you to maintain lean muscle mass. It's not just about calories in and calories out anymore. And that's correct, Mark, because I think the key thing to remember is that in a weight management program, it's not just about weighing yourself on a scale, because that doesn't tell you whether you are preserving, at the minimum, lean muscle. I believe that gene expression science is an important advance in our understanding of weight management. And particularly, there is a lot of new research findings associated with gene expression and how this phenomenon is impacting or affecting uh, overweight people. Uh, as we all know that with gene expression, the ultimate outcome of gene expression is the production of proteins. And these proteins play a very important role in how the body functions, in fact, how the body puts on weight, and how the body gathers and stores fat. And in fact, I think it's important for people to understand that uh, you know, our approach has always been to target the sources of any nutritional issues. And as we understand the genes, really that's going as far upstream as you can go to understand the sources of an issue. So certainly this is something that we can apply to weight management in a very fruitful way. What we have found, in fact, is that there are certain groups of genes which we have called youth gene clusters that when they express themselves and that's in, in the wrong way, they have an influence or an effect on weight management. As you said, Joe, our approach is not just to look at one magic gene, but actually there are many genes that express themselves in the human body. So that's why you use the word clusters, of course. The three uh, main groups that we've found are groups that are involved in metabolism overall and in maintenance of lean muscle and also in appetite control. So these are genes that are expressed uh, differently and also in different parts of the body, but they all have an impact on weight management. Yes, and, and in fact, what that implies really that instead of using gene expression signs to focus on just the fat tissue, we are also trying to see whether there are some things that we have to influence in the brain, for example, and also in the gastrointestinal tract. So if we can somehow influence all three aspects uh, of these body tissues, we will have a much more profound impact on how we can control weight. An ideal or optimal weight management system should really consist of four key elements. The first key element uh, is related to fact is to adopt a healthy eating plan. A second key element is to make sure that lean muscle 
is not lost during a weight management program. Another third element that we should focus on is really on fat tissue. You know, when you lose weight, all that loss of weight should come from fat and no other tissue from your body so that we can shape better, i.e. that our body composition uh, gains, uh, reaches a healthy level. So you look better in front of a mirror and not just getting on a, on, on a scale. And finally, the fourth element would be related to the fact that you should adopt a healthy exercise program. But in order to understand those key points better, mm -hmm. it's nice to know what's going on in the body and in the cells. And gene expression science actually helps us to get a handle on that. What's going on in the adipose tissue? What's going on in the muscle? Are you eating the right kinds of food? Uh, are you maintaining your lean muscle mass? Is this the right approach? Uh, an understanding of gene expression science can help to bolster our understanding uh, about how we manage our weight. What we eat during a weight management program turns out to be incredibly important. The quality of the food that you're eating, but not just that, not even just the proportions, but actually uh, the right kind of macronutrient in terms of whether it's protein, fat or carbohydrate, and also uh, spread out properly during the day. So you need to have a certain amount minimum of protein, for example, to maintain an amino acid pool in your body that's going to help you maintain muscle mass. It's going to be anabolic because it's actually helping to maintain the lean muscle tissue. And you can't overstate the importance of maintaining that lean tissue because that's your metabolic engine. And that's the problem with a lot of traditional diets is you lose that muscle mass so that by the time your diet is over, you've lost some of that metabolic engine. That means that the calories that you're eating are not being expended in the same way that they were. You cannot sustain a diet. Diets are not sustainable. Our program consists of an eating plan which is sustainable that you can adopt for the rest of your life. We have now completed in the wage management category all the studies at the preclinical stage we call it where we now know uh, what is the gene expression profile that is uh, that can occur with the ingredients we have put into certain weight management products and uh, we have now advanced to a stage where we are understanding how weight management happens uh, in, in a clinical study. We've just completed uh, fairly recently a study that had uh, about 70 people in it, about two-thirds of those women, and uh, we were able to present those data at a recent uh, very large uh, meeting of scientists called Experimental Biology in Boston this year and uh, that was interesting. Also, we have another study underway, uh, a larger study, in fact, with about 140 people at least in this study. So this will give us an, an understanding of uh, how all of our homework has paid off.